another action in place. Okay, there are many things. Action was going on in past the news now. It can be even two actions that also take place simultaneously in past. Okay, when you saw there were two actions uh, were going on. That can also be expressed, that will also be expressed in past continuous. And secondly, one action was going on, then another action took place. Then another action took place. Okay, now rule subject was in God first form ing and put. And now where was will be used? It will be the I, E, C, it, and any singular name. Any singular name. And then verb with the rest of the masculine name. So verb is used with B, U, A, and names. Names. You can get two names, A and U. You can be treated as a singular adjective, but we are using singular form of B, and you can put uh, person wise, because the three person you have to cover. All these adjectives, which are to be used in uh, three person only, and then you can distinguish. Okay? And again, the same sentence you can take I, when you soon. It means how you convert it and how you convert it to past continuous. What will be the sentence? I again same subject uh, with the I. This is helping one for the work. I was first form go and you can convert it to first form going to stream. I was going to stream. Actually, uh, in present indefinite and past indefinite. So, in our two sentence, there is no helping work there. You have to use the Otherwise, normally you will find helping work. And this is permanent. Whenever you want to make a simple sentence, the structure part will be same with this like this. And if you want to make a sentence negative, after helping one, you have to do negative in any case. And if you want to make a sentence interrogative, this has will come before sentence. This is a permanent rule that I see. Except you have, uh, you have to be careful in past level, you will be in a so, negative you can convert, I was more going to school. I was more going to school. Was I going to school? This is totally a sentence structure. We will talk about the sentence structure sometimes. I was going to school, I was not going to school, or I was going to finish. So, this sentence, if you know the rules, so these are permanent rules. When you have to convert the sentence into simple or affirmative to negative, or affirmative to negative, or indefinite. Only thing you have to replace this helping word by subject. That you have to interchange that. And in case of negative, or uh, after helping word, you have to But sometimes, this one, uh, action was going on when another action did. Another action, this is a combination with the past indefinite. Now, this is a combination. Next, for example, if you say, When I went to my friend, when I went to my friend, he was playing. He was playing. He was playing. It means this action. Another action. When I went to him, at that time, some uh, past continuous, some action was going to be. Okay, this can be a combination. This is a combination we have to discuss all of because it is a sentence structure. Conditional sentence also can be a sentence. Okay, uh, when I went to him, uh, he was playing. When I went to my friend, he was playing. Like this. Okay, this is all about past continuous. Next tense. Next is past perfect. Next is past perfect. Past perfect. Past perfect. Action completed in past. Action completed in past. 
action completely in past. Action completely in past. Any action that has completely downloaded in the past. Now, what is the rule? Subject had always heard more. Any perfect, how will you discuss something? Any perfect is the main one has to be in uh, part, past participle. Past participle. Subject and third form and object. This is with a simple sentence now. Simple formation of sentence. Because in this there will be two types of sentence. So two actions will take place in this type of sentence. Okay, then there will be a subject. Now subject and third form and object. You can write the sentence. He had gone to school. He had gone to school. He had gone to school. In this, uh, had plus third form, same structure. If sentence is in negative or negative, then again the same structure, had not third form and object. And object. Third form and object. He had not gone to school. He had not gone to school. He had not gone to school. Now, in case you want to make it interrogative, then had you have to do first. Had subject and third form object and delivery question. Had he gone to school? Had he gone to school? This is a simple sentence. But in this sentence, sometimes there are two actions in this. In case there are two actions, you can write down this book. In case there are two actions in a sentence, two actions in a sentence, the action which takes place first, it will be the first action. The action which takes place first, first action, I am just writing it short. The action which takes place first will be expressed in past or past. Will be expressed in past action. And later action, later action, what you can say second action. Action, later action will be expressed in past. And second action, it will be expressed in past in a in the combination. So that these are the conditional sentence action. Uh, combination, whenever there are two actions in a sentence, it means one action, the first action, it will be expressed in past perfect, and the later action. Past in a past in a you can we'll write one sentence for a two action. One has to take the first and uh, followed by another action, followed by another action. He had gone to school before the bell went. Before the bell rang. Okay. Before the bell rang. Or before the bell rang. Okay. Uh, he had gone to school before the bell rang. And even you can use here before, uh, okay, you can use when. He had gone to school when the bell rang. When the bell rang. It is a difference from the school for the moment. But they say, when is school? And if you want to use another word after, you can use in the same sentence without changing the sense. You can use the word is after. After, how you will use the bell, the bell thing after he had gone to school. It's in this type of sentence, whenever there are two actions, you have to be very careful. There will be two actions, one action will take place first and followed by another action. It means that whatever action it takes place first, you have to express in past. You can use different words after, before, and after. You can use this word, but meaning will remain same. So you have to express in uh, initial action or first action, you have to express in past, and later action, you have to express in past. It means it is a combination. It the length and the bell 
that the bell rang after he had moved. Meaning is say we have to use the different word here after, before, and you can use even here when. You can use when. Okay, this is past perfect. Now next. Next is past perfect continuous. Past perfect continuous. Past perfect continuous. Okay, perfect is also in continuous. Any action that was going on to a particular time in past. Any action. Was going on from a particular time, particular time in the past. In past, any action that was going on from a particular time in the past, that is not the first time. Before. So, uh, again, the rule subject and the first form again the object six and four plus half vector to write down so time one of the time okay subject there the admin is there the first form of again partition form and here you can see the uh, sentence structure for example this Perfect, you know, use the healthy one of the perfect. Mean heavy. The continuous means you have to use a uh, uh, main work, main action. So action for the present participle. Present participle. That is first form and IN. First form, IN. Okay. So you can make any sentence without structure uh, action. B and B, B, B. Since model. Since model. Now, use of since. Let's again uh, go add this uh, with all the subject it will be used with all the numbers in the program. Now, since and for again, yesterday also we discussed little since. Where it is used? It is only one point of time. One point of time. Only one time you can come to total time about when the sentence was spoken. We are going. Okay. Now, four rate is used total time. Four is used for total time, total time, span of time, or duration of time. Or duration of time is used with the total time, span of time, duration. What is the difference in this? In this, we don't know when the action, only we know when action starting. In this, we know only when the particular action has started. But uh, in this, we go when the action started and we must keep it and then we want to keep it when we are spoken in what was the total time. Total time. And then on to whether calculated the total duration that, that is there you have to use for since. Now, since morning, we have been reading since morning. Now, we don't know when this sentence was spoken. It means only one point of time is used. We know only morning here started. When this sentence was spoken, we are not having to know. Okay. But if we say we have been, we have been reading for two hours. For two hours. It means we know when the action started and when we, uh, when we spoke this sentence. At that time, we can do it. At that time, we calculated the total time. It means four is used for total time, the span of time, the duration of time, and since it is only where one point of time is being from the 80 point for time, then only we have to use this. We, are, we, are, we don't have any idea about total time, duration of time, uh, how much time. So this is simple thing. 
Now, next is if you want to make the sentence negative again after this one, tag, you have to put no. You know, after that, we want same sentence you can convert E and B. He had no dream. He did to ask. What to ask? And next is in that way, if you want to make again this head, you can do that on the board subject. Before subject, you have to put anything wrong. You will have E, 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 E. These are the four types of past tense. These are the four types of past tense. Again, if you want to type from the result to the present, past, present, and past, we will have a comparison. Tenses, once again, you can have a recap of the both the sentences and the types of tenses. But first, present, and then past. In the past, okay. In that way, you can say our whole time. In that way, continuous, perfect, and perfect continuous. Perfect continuous. Now in present, what was the condition? In present, we we have used first form. Continuous ing. It is always whenever you are using. Any continuous uh, tense, any continuous, whether it is present or past or action or tense, can be in first form or ing, you can say present past participle. Present participle. Okay. And here, have, has, or have, be, then first form ing. First form ing. Here, present. Here have been of the is a mark. Is then R. Here have and has been first form and I. This is important. But if you go in the past, it is very simple to compare and you can download. Here you have to use second form. You have to use second form. And here what will be the same action word will be there. Only you have to use was and was or plus first form and I am. So it will be very easy. So that you learn the rules of this one and where these are. Again, here you have has, here it will be had, plus third form, any complex. Any complex, you have to use the third form and has been work, whatever has been work. In the present, it is has and have, in the past, it is had. And in the, uh, this one, it will be had been. And we plus plus one. Plus one. I am. And in the past, you can write separately. Here, this one. It is only for comparison, not the recap of the whatever we have covered by the way. Present perfect. Have and has. Third form. And in this, same has and have. Have been. First form, I am. Now you can compare with these two. Now see, first form, second form. Second one, do. In the second one, did. Continuous, I am form, or you can say present participles, same friend parts. It means helping work only you to see. Is a mark, was not. Here, perfect, complete, or participle form, third form. Have, has, and had. That is the difference. If you, if you know the performance and you know the rule, I think it will. And uh, you can eliminate any type of writing mistakes now. You can speak, also you can speak for the type of these uh, rules, parameters. Now in the present perfect continuous, say have as plus be in your bed. Here also have. It means you can see from here we have taken half the same. It means it is a combination of perfect and continuous. So and we have taken perfect and made work and being has been added in this. 
and main work will be done by the continuous. Okay, this will be your past continuous comparison and October practice you can do this. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. No problem. इसको मैं देखता हूँ इसको देख के आता हूँ अभी इसको देख सकते हैं कैसे यहाँ वो यहाँ मतलब मैं I want to see the clarity and sound अंजी सर सर दिनेश सर उसकी क्लियरिटी और साउंड कैसी थी सर ने सुना